Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be checking out coordinate covalent compounds and resonance structures. Coordinate covalent compounds simply is when one element contributes an extra pair of electrons to the covalent bond, and they do so by themselves. In the example of carbon monoxide, we see carbon and oxygen together in a bond. Carbon has four electrons in its outer shell. It has two in the S and also two in the P. Oxygen has two, four, six electrons in its outer shell. And so we can kind of think of it as these guys are going to bond up together. When they bond up together, they form a covalent bond. And then we can also think of these two as bonding up. And let's just draw them right here. And they bond up and they form there. These guys are gone over here. He's gone as well. But in order to make this an octet, carbon has two four, six electrons right now, and this oxygen has two, four, six, and eight. Remember, these aren't down here. So carbon needs two more electrons. Now, where are you going to get them from? If you take these right here and pop them in the middle, carbon still has six, and that has done nothing. So oxygen is going to go ahead and take an extra pair of electrons there and place them down in the middle inside the bond. So what you end up here is with a triple bond, and now I'm going to erase some of the stuff so it becomes crystal clear what's going on. That guy is erased. This one, this pair up here, was placed down there. But that came from oxygen. So what I want you to see is that this pair of electrons right there is my coordinate covalent bond. And that is when one element contributes an extra pair of their own electrons. Prior to this, this one came from carbon, and so did this one, and this one came from oxygen, and so did that one. But both of these come from oxygen alone, therefore this becomes known as my coordinate covalent bond. The electrons will remove, this one will scatter over this way, and end up with 180 degrees apart from the middle, but that is not the lesson, it's not on the Vesper theory, it is on the coordinate covalent bond. A resonance structure is when more than one Lewis dot structure can be drawn for a particular molecule. And we'll check that out with a molecule O3. O3 is ozone, and O3 actually has 3 times the 6 electrons gives me 18 electrons to place in my Lewis dot structure. I'm committed to drawing all 3 oxygens. Now, this is not a lesson on the shape of ozone, just a simple illustration of resonance structures. Now I'm going to start off by drawing a bond between each of the oxygens. That's a covalent bond, and that's a covalent bond. So I've used four electrons. I'm down to 14 electrons now. Let's place them around here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And your goal in this case is to get an octet on each element. Well, this element over here has 8. The one in the middle has 6. And this one has 8. So, in order to make the middle oxygen have an octet rule, let's take this pair of electrons right here and pop them right in the middle. Alright, so the pair of electrons in the very top now is gone. And I've removed it and placed it in the middle here. So let's circle these up now. Do we have 8 in our outer shell? We have 2, 4, 6, 8. We have 4, 6, and 8 on oh, the middle one now. So it's at 8. And the last one over here on the right-hand side, we have the 2, the 4, the 6, and the 8. And to really draw this nice and clean, what I end up having is a double bond going to the middle oxygen from the left one. And I have a single bond going to the oxygen on the right-hand side. But you see, that's not the only way you can draw the Lewis dot structure. We could have also taken this pair of electrons right here, or any one for that matter, and threw it into a double bond on this side. And if that was the case... I would have had the structure that looked like this. You can almost think of it as um, the reverse. I'm sorry for forgetting those electrons right there before. So I want you to see, either one of these Lewis dot structures is valid. Both of them work, and therefore they are considered resonance structures. Because when it's more than when one Lewis, valid Lewis dot structure can be drawn for that molecule.